We have an amazing subject to chat about. So challenging because it deals with two of the most powerful, gripping and demanding emotions. That at times it seems pulls apart. Fear and love. There are so many things that can eat so easily stir up that feeling of fear. Much research has been done on the subject of fear and the results of the top 10 human fears have been published in the book in the book list as Speaking before a group Heights Insects and bugs Financial problems Deep water Sickness Death Flying Loneliness Dogs Yep Fear is a real, a real powerful condition we all have to battle with daily. Who isn't afraid of creepy bugs, scary spiders and dribbly dogs? But these human fears can be easily controlled. You can spray bugs, squash spiders, squirt dogs and the fear factor is solved. Well, until the next creepy crawly hairy dribbling thing comes into your life. But what is the fear which grips us the most? What is the fear that always creeps into your mind and looms large in our thoughts when thinking on God and his purpose in our life? We want to look closely at that fear and see the inspiring characteristic and attribute which we must develop to overcome that fear. It's the understanding and appreciation of the divine characteristics of real love. There is an amazing verse taught in our Bible written by John, the disciple whom Jesus loved. He wrote, Such love has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. Imagine that, all fears, fears expelled, gone, driven out, no longer. Or as another translation says, banished. Whoa, imagine living with no fear. Could it be possible? Can it be true? Just what does John mean when he writes, we have not experienced his perfect love? If we still live in the shadow of fear and dread, the Apostle Paul adds an astonishing touch to his thoughts when he writes that this amazing love of God has been poured into our hearts. Yes, young people, there is no stopping God's love. It can be to us a never-ending, uninterrupted, abundant, constant life, giving continuous, steady flow of love that keeps coming and coming and will spring up into everlasting life. So come along Saturday night as we dispel all the fear and really come to appreciate that love, the love that never fails.